Hypersensitivity reactions are excessive immune responses to normally harmless substances that induces inflammation and leads to tissue damage and death. There are four types of hypersensitive reactions. Type 3 reactions are caused by an antigen-antibody reaction, which we call an immune complex. This is different to type 1 reactions where we saw fixed antibodies on mast cells and freely floating antigens, where in type 2 reactions we saw a fixed antigen on the cell and freely floating antibodies. So, in type 3 reactions, because the immune complex forms within the circulation, the harmful effects is not where they form, rather it's where they deposit. An example here in the tissue bed, when the immune complex forms, it brings in complement proteins, which binds to the complex, and then brings in neutrophils or macrophages, which then release their lysozymes, causing inflammation and destruction to tissue. So, once the immune complex has formed in the circulation, the common locations at tissues where they will deposit are at blood vessels, which will lead to vasculitis, in kidneys, which leads to nephritis, at joints, which causes arthritis, or in skin, causing dermatitis, or in the lungs, where we call pneumonitis. So, some common examples would be Post a streptococcal infection, this could lead to a complex leading to post streptoglomerulonephritis, rheumatoid or reactive arthritis, or two systemic examples, lupus being one, which can deposit in the skin, in the kidney, and in the joint, causing arthritis, nephritis, and dermatitis, or serum sickness, which can get stuck in the joints, causing arthritis, in the blood vessels, causing vasculitis, or in the kidneys causing nephritis.